angels, a light tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for April the 12th through April the 18th. And of course, you know it, we're going to start with the lover bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. Angels and guys, positive energy for the energy around the lovebirds. Come on, angels, what's going on? Just, you know what, we're just, we're, there we go. Virgo, those of you that are in a beautiful bond, what is going on? Hmm. What is going on here? We have Divine Masculine, Chivalry, and hmm, the Green Fairy. Yes, the cheeky Green Fairy on your behalf is appearing here to make you laugh. So yes, your yes, Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, wherever you're sitting in this message, I feel like they are going to roll out the red carpet for you this week. And boy, do you feel happy about that. Yes. Or depending on where you're sitting in this message, you may be rolling out the red carpet for them. And you know what? You like doing it too. There is some joy behind that. You're like, you know, I'm going to do something really nice for Bay this week. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to, yes, 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 angels and guides, positive energy for singles, Virgo singles who are looking for love. Yes, yes, yes. Angels, come on. What's the energy around singles? <clears throat> uh, Come on, angels, what's going on for Virgos who are looking for love this week? Come on, thank you, thank you, and thank you. And we're going to add one from the, yes, <laughs> yeah, from the fairy dust. <laughs> we have creativity and trust, yes. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. Expect love in many different forms this week. Trust that although it's different, although it might not look like what you think it should look like, trust that it is, I feel like, I feel like a nice feeling of love around you. It's not your typical love. It's not the normal love. No, it's something totally outside of the box. Trust that it is right for you. All right, now for those of you who are looking for love. All right, Virgo, let's get right into your general message for seven little days. Angels, what's going on for Virgo? Yes, 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 for seven little days. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Ah, there we go. All right, now let's go ahead and add mm -hmm, one from my mama's deck. Angels, positive energy. Yes, 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 for lovely, lovely Virgo. Hmm. Thank you, and thank you. Come on, angels. What is going on? Or <laughs> Virgo. Let's, let's keep on shuffling. Okay, Virgo. Angels and guys, high vibrations for Virgo. Thank you. Remember what goes on the floor stays on the floor. Yes and yes. Now, let's move on to the dragon's deck for lovely, lovely. And remember, Virgo, these are all right side up to get out the positive energy from each of the messages. Yes, yes, yes. Now, let's finish it. Top it off. Top it off with the, what do you call this? The Eskimo deck. Yes, vintage, vintage Eskimo deck. All right, now, let's tidy up a bit and get right into your message, Virgo. Are we ready? Yes. So the major theme is the eight of swords with the seven of spades, defense, and the eight of hearts. So this week, I feel Virgo feels a bit trapped in their mind. It's like feeling like a caged 
animal in, in their mind. A lot's going on up there. With the seven of spades, you can actually stay in your head. The more you stay in your head, the more uh, you the more um the more it feels more the more you stay in your head the more trapped you feel so release the seven of spades is saying release that notion that you have to stay where you are you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do with the eight of hearts you have all the power that you need you feel like you don't but you do you do virgo okay so now Let's move into the recent past with the the uh, four of swords reversed in the recent past with the three of clubs, patience, and the six of hearts. So in the recent past, I feel like you had done a lot of soul searching, so much so that you were ready to express it to the world. With the three of clubs, how it came out didn't necessarily, I feel like it was a bit mumbled, does that make sense? Like you were trying to express yourself, but it didn't seem to fall out of your mouth the right way. You had to have patience and say it very slowly. I feel like with the six of hearts, there, there wasn't anything that was, I, I don't feel like, even though I feel like there were some misunderstandings, I don't feel like um, it caused any long-term um problems if you will but there was some there was some confusion on expressing yourself okay now let's move on to the middle of the week we have the seven of wands with the eight of clubs timing and the nine of diamonds so in the middle of the week virgo you're in good you're you're in a good position to stand your ground yes you are and don't don't back down okay I feel like with the timing, you will know with the, the nine of diamonds when to pull back a little bit. But initially, you're going to come across maybe as um, it's almost like you have to stand your ground. You have to say your piece, and then you kind of need to let it go. It's almost like okay, I said what I had to say. Okay, now I'm done. I, long as it's almost like you're emotionally just like okay I said what I had to say now I feel better sometimes you just need to talk about um, a situation if that makes sense now when we look at the end of the week we have the Hierophant card reversed with the four of spades and the luck and the five of hearts so I feel like by the end of the week no you're not committing to into anything but you're still in a good position you worked hard to be in this position luck is on your side and feelings are changing for the better okay now let's get into your bonus you have the tower card reversed with the queen of pentacles reversed and the fool card reversed with the queen of diamonds the friends card and the ace of clubs so I feel like the tower there will be a new beginning a shocking new beginning i feel like out of nowhere and with the queen of pentacles it's less likely this new beginning is 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 not so much um there's not not much agitation in this new beginning i feel like this new beginning is going to make you feel like you know you can stay in this situation because the full card is reversed now with the queen of diamonds you do feel like you re have gotten your power back with all of your associates or your love partners the ace of clubs there are new topics of conversation so whatever this is this newness that is happening it, it's it's making things clearer it's making things easier less prickly if you will more um smoother so yes um you do feel like you i feel like there is a sense of feeling like you need to stay in a situation that you don't it's all up here right but the joy of this all is coming to the um, realization that you don't have to stay where you are and there is much power in that but that's not necessarily convincing someone else that's convincing yourself 
Does that make sense? That that there gives you the power, that that knowing on the inside that you don't have to stay where you are. And boy, yeah, it's like moving your crown a little bit. Like, yeah, that's right. I don't have to stay where where I am. But I, I do see you in the middle of the week defending yourself. And you'll know when to just kind of, you know, let it go. You'll say your piece. And that is that. Things will slowly begin to change by the end of the week. New topics of conversation will evolve from this um reverse tower moment and I feel like things will get a bit smoother okay so I'm gonna leave it there I send you joy namaste and much much love sent your way